Now let's look at what is a graph coloring problem. Okay, it is also known as a proper coloring of a graph. So the problem is we have to assign a color to each vertex of the graph such that no two adjacent vertex have the same color. Okay, no two adjacent vertex have the same color. And the minimum number of colors that we use in this case is known as the chromatic number of the graph. Okay, so I'm just going to make another statement. Minimum number of colors used for proper coloring. Okay, since we are talking about proper coloring. Okay. This scheme where we assign a color to each of the graphs such that no two adjacent vertex have the same color is also known as proper coloring. Okay. The other name is the graph coloring problem. Okay. So minimum number of color used for proper coloring of a graph is known as the chromatic number of the graph. Okay. Known as chromatic number and we denote it by the chi okay chromatic number of the graph so that is about your graph coloring or proper coloring of a graph so what we want over here is let us suppose i have a graph like this Okay, so this is a graph. So what I want is I want to color the vertices of this graph so that no two adjacent vertex should have the same color. So let us see what we can do over here. I can give a let us suppose orange color to this then I cannot give orange to this. Okay, because no two adjacent vertex should have the same color. So let us give a red to this. Okay, now I have given red to this. Now what I can do is I can give a orange over here. Okay. I cannot give a orange over here because these two are adjacent. So this is not allowed. Adge now let us check out if I can give a red over here. Now since this is orange and this is red they are different. So adjacent vertex are having different colors and for this vertex I have not yet assigned a color. So there is no problem in giving a red to this vertex. Now I am left with only this vertex. For this vertex it is adjacent to a red colored vertex and it is also adjacent to an orange colored vertex. So I cannot give either red or orange. So let us give a green to this vertex. Now as you can see I have colored all the vertices such that no two adjacent vertices are having same color. Okay so this is your proper coloring for this graph. Okay proper coloring for this graph and what is your chromatic number your chromatic number in this particular case is going to be three. Okay chromatic number is equal to three because we are looking at the minimum number of colors that we need to proper color a graph. I can always use a pink over here. Okay. In that case the number of colors becomes four but I am looking for the minimum number of colors and also I cannot go to two. Okay. I cannot use only orange and red because if I make it orange then this is adjacent to an orange colored vertex. Okay. Similarly I cannot make it even red. So I have to choose another color for proper coloring. So over here my chromatic number for this particular graph is three because it is the minimum number of colors that I can use to proper color the graph. Now here we have a algorithm called Welsh and Powell algorithm which is going to help me find the proper coloring for a given graph and ensuring that minimum number of colors are used.